Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm reading for the astrological sign of Gemini from January 1st through the 16th. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not apply, may, not, may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. It's all good. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Gemini, you came in, you came in, I think, number four of all the signs. You know, wow, before you weren't there, and then this last time you were there. Wow. It, it, it was amazing. It was amazing to me. So I want to thank you all, and I want to thank you for your comments. I love, I love reading them. I do try to read them, usually in the morning. Um, so I want to let you know that I do read them, and I try to comment too. Um, comment back or reply back. Now, I'll tell you this, this is a little, that the replies to my replies sometimes get lost, but I do try to find them too. So we're going to be using the same cards, you know, as we always do, my Doreen Virtue, Angel Tarot, my Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Did you get through your Christmas or holidays or however it was? Because I mean, you know, Gemini, you, you crack me up. You crack me up. Oh my gosh. I love you, Geminis. You, you, there's, so, there's so much to you. I, you crack me up. You, you know, I love to watch people and to some extent, and you know, I'm kind of like an analyzer, and it's like, wow, Geminis, awesome people. So let's see what we have for, oh, and if you haven't subscribed, go right below, click on the subscription, you know, the little subscribe button. Also, too, on the little bell, because that will tell you when I'm, um, you know, when I'm posting new, okay, posting new um, videos. I am doing my general energy videos. I hope you've been watching. Also, another thing, too. Boy, I have all these alsos. Um, Gemini, Gemini. Um, also, to try to find out, look on the internet to find out, your, you know, you know, like you're ascending, you're rising, your moon and or and Venus, no and or, just do and. And then watch those videos too because they all play. You know, you may say, yeah, you know, Deb, I've been watching and this is good, but what, you know, it doesn't quite fit. Go check the other ones, but again, too, general reading. So, Gemini, 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 January 1st through the 16th. What's in store for our Geminis? What's in store for our Geminis? Okay, let me go and cut the deck. We have one card that came out. Oh, okay, so you want to come out. One card wants to come out, came out. And let's see what we have here. Okay, our first card is reversed. Five of fire, okay. Are those people still making you crazy? You know, fire, um, fire energy is your Leo, your Aries, and your Sagittarius. Five of fire is your competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. And they just don't do what you want them to do. <laughs> We've been talking about that. You know, and, you know and, and I don't think that they understand how much patience you've been giving them. <laughs> and I, you know, that you really, because they just don't do what you want them to do. Okay, let's see what this next card says. Seven of air. Plans that need revision. More going on that meets the eye. Poor timing. Oh, this is cruddy. No, cruddy, cruddy, cruddy for, you know. And I'm not saying that this is actually cruddy. I'm just saying, though, as a Gemini, it's like, oh, come on. I've got to deal with this, and I've got to deal with that now? Come on. It just says that things need revision. There's more than you, you don't know. You don't know the whole story of what's going on. And the fact is, though, you know, your, your mind is always going and racing, not, not racing like, you know, like, but your mind is always analyzing and going and, you know, and thinking. So, you know, and it's like, what? I didn't think of that? How come I didn't see that happening? Okay. This is also reverse. It's the last card. Nine of Earth. Enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So, I, I, again, to that 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 energy, that feeling of people irritating you is going to carry over a little bit more into the beginning of the year. Um, you know, you're going to kind of be like, "Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I see that? Why didn't I know that? I could have handled it differently." Well, you couldn't have 
got the information was not there for you. So just know that. You know, while you could have handled it differently if you had the different information, the information wasn't out there for you. You just didn't have it. And you've got to accept that because, in, in, you know, in many ways, you know, if you can get to past the, these again, in many ways, you can actually spend the first 16 days of January in a better place than you ended in December. Okay? You know, and also, too, I'm being really pulled down to that successful self-employment. Now, that could be exactly what it says. You're thinking of opening a business or starting a business or you're in a business and it's going to be successful. Or it could be that you're, you know, I'm thinking of a new venture of some sort. And, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's something that brings in money, but it's something that you really are going, you really will like. And it's like a new, it's a new career, hobby, um, something that you really, really like. So you're thinking about that and... If you can get, and maybe this, these first two cards are just the irritation of not being able to get that to the point where you can do this. But I think that you are, you know, I, I think that you are thinking of something that you really want to kind of jump into. That trip is still out there. There is that still that trip that I'm waiting for you to go on that trip. And maybe it's like, oh, I've got to go get my passport. And oh, where's my birth certificate? Where I need to, you know, it's like all these little things are, you know, leading up. But... You know, if you just step back and take some, you know, take a little couple of breaths, you are, you know, you can get to that point and you can, um, you know, you can actually get things put in place. That's why I'm kind of picking up with these cards. Okay. So now let's go with our psychic tarot and oracle cards. Gemini, 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 I'm still waiting for that trip. And I think I st I'm still thinking of something on more um the exotic side and i don't mean that you're going to go to the you know the amazon you could but i don't think i'm not that but if you're somebody who doesn't leave your house um, or doesn't leave your neighborhood i think you might be going to you know maybe to another state or 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 maybe you'll go to like florida i don't know i'm just feeling like you're going to go someplace that's out of your normal environment okay i do want to i mean I, I have heard some people say yeah i'm going to italy Woo! love it and you might be you know you might be you know putting together the things you have to put together for that to get that started for you so i do still see that i do feel like there's a trip coming maybe i'm not saying within this time period but it's like or maybe you just love to dream about traveling and i think that you'll put your dreams into practice one day oh okay Okay, so let's let one card did jump. Let's go ahead and cut the deck and take the next two cards off. Here keeps falling in my eyes. Sorry about that. Okay, first card that jumped out. Your heart chakra. Heart is all about, you know, your your love, your health, your cardiovascular, your, you know, what you're feeling, you know, you're feeling things so deeply. But let's see what these other ones are, too. Your solar plexus chakra, chakras. Okay, kind of going into your self-esteem, your femininity, your masculinity, you know, your who you pers who you actually are okay your you know it's not necessarily like your base chakra but it does lend into your security your confidence things like that okay let's see what this last one is disruption and envy okay so this this does go along a little bit with our you know our five of fire and our seven of air you know the competing goals bothersome details conflict more going on that meets the eye. Plans need revision. Poor timing. Um, you know, I will tell you that in many ways, um, a lot there are there are a lot of people that you know there is a a you know a an attraction to Gemini's because you know you 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 have so much energy. You have so much. You know, you're in, you're smart. All this stuff. But then there's also a, um, 
you know, I can't, you know, the envy. There is a, there is an envy towards Gemini's also too. Something about you, maybe because you know, my mom was a Gemini, and her motto was like, "Don't worry what your hair looks like in the back, because you're leaving those people." You know, they're behind you. Bye. You know, I don't need to know if my hair is combed in the back. So, do you, do you understand what I'm saying with that? And people don't necessarily, um, you know, pe people don't like <laughs> like. I'm not gonna say they don't like it because I actually get a kick out of you, but people don't, um, they don't appreciate the honesty that Geminis bring. Now, you are twins, so you do have the one that says, let's go here, let's go there. Yes, no, you know, devil, de you know, devil angel. But for a lot, for a big part of this, there is a lot of honesty to Geminis. You're gonna say it as you mean it, and there's people that not aren't necessarily going to appreciate that. Um, sometimes you may, you know, there's people that, you know, you may not necessarily say it in the, you know, soft, pretty words that they wanted to hear. Okay. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, be aware, you know, there's going to be a lot of, I don't see it as emotional because there's really no water here. There's no water, which is like a cup. Um, but I am feeling that I'm feeling that you might be a little un that even though these people around you are kind of like irritants in a way again too it's we're continuing but that it's actually affecting you more than what you show it's affecting you know how you're feeling and it's affecting your um you know who how you think of yourself okay so not going to say, oh, yeah, you might as well just sleep these next 16 days. No, no, no. You're going to go out there. Think You're going to, you know, it, it unfortunately, you're, you know, you, you have, you're going to have to have a little bit of a struggle these, you know, with, with these people around you. Um, that's where I say again, you know, where was this about, what didn't I hear? Okay, enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone. And again, one of the best things you can do is when they're starting to, do this when that when that energy is coming to you and it's negative energy then you you know you stop and you know you have to identify you know they, they, you know I just read something about you know if you're around people and you feel like your energy is being sapped you know out of you you need to identify it you need to see who those people are and then you need to move them out of your life okay so that's where I'm that's what I'm trying to say with this okay so let's go and see last words Osha Zentero, last words for our Geminis. Can you give us a little bit last words, a little piece of advice for our Geminis? Because these won't, I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to accept them as, as days like that. You know, you, you don't have to, you can move those people out of your life. And except though, you know, I do think that it, you're, I, you know, I feel kind of a vulnerability with you right now for, you know, during this time, Gemini, you know, and you know, I feel, I do feel that some, you know, that there could be some hurt. But just know that you will get through this and you will get past this. You will get past this. And it's funny because Marilyn Monroe, who I believe was a Gemini, she keeps coming into my mind. And, I, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, that... But I mean, and, but she was a very vulnerable person and, you know, she was very successful, but people really didn't know how, I mean, I don't think people saw how vulnerable she is, was, but, um, I'm, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling vulnerability. Okay. I'm feeling, you know, Marilyn Monroe, I'm feeling there's going to be a you know, pain, but you'll just keep, but you're so strong too. And you just keep going on. You just keep, you get, you keep moving on. Okay. So let's see what our last three cards are of the deck. Reversed. And what is that one? Ah, silence. Okay. That makes sense. You know, you might have to become a little bit more introverted. You might have to, you know, when all this stuff is going around, you might have to come back into yourself. Um, again, to, you know, we talk, I talk about meditation. I talk about you know, getting, you know, getting away. Um, you're still going to have, you, you'll have to do that. And, and yeah, let's see what this next one is. Reversed. Oh, no, it was not reversed. I couldn't see that. Okay. Clinging to the past. 
Okay. As the you know, this is kind of normal though. As a new year comes in, you think of past New Years. You think, and especially if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling vulnerable, if you're feeling kind of sad, if you're feeling like, you know, like you know, why am I feeling like this? Um, you know, you tend to look towards the past. I have conversations with you know, with people say, well, is it good to live? You know, you know, the past has I have happy moments. Well, it's okay to have happy moments and remember but it's not okay to cling to the past, okay? You do have to let the past go behind you because that can lead to depression, okay? So just be aware of that. And this is upside down change. So what I wanna say about this though, Gemini then, is while you're feeling very, very vulnerable, not, I shouldn't say very, very, while, while you have this vulnerability, you are somebody who, you know, you know, know that, know that, know who you are, know who you are, because you are a strong person, you're intellectual, you're smart, you're funny as all get out, you crack me up, so know that about yourself, because at the end of this, you know, this is going, this cycle, whatever this cycle is, is going to change, and it will change for the better, okay, you just have to get through these two weeks, Hopefully it's just two weeks, but even if it's not, you need to just get through them. You need to come back into yourself and, you know, and, you know, and just know, you know, you have to go and you have to enjoy what you enjoy the life, life's little luxuries, you know, and what else, you know, take some quiet time and know this ends. And when, when you've come to that point of an acceptance that's usually when, and I don't mean acceptance of the situation as in I can never leave the situation, just, okay, for some reason, I have to be in this position and I am accepting this position. Usually right after that, it changes, okay? So, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm sorry, this is just one of those, you know, it's kind of like those, just those moments of self, this is those, the, that cycle of self-reflection for you, okay? Okay. I do want to wish you a happy new year. I do want to tell you, you know, just take care of yourself a little bit and just, you know, just know a couple, oh, two things. One, you are loved and that I am wishing blessings for you. Bye-bye.